Hi everyone, I am Mobina Nuri, scholar, artist and lecturer with PhD in Creativity Science. And I'm Shagoyer Sirus, artist, curator and lecturer with MFA in Social Practice and Socially Engaged Art. We are pleased to walk you through one of our latest methods for collective mega creativity and innovation. We are in the time that everyone has to be in the Zoom meeting in front of the screen all day long, like now. We engage only one or two of our senses, seeing and hearing. However, scientifically proven that if we want to be in our creative mind's highest potential, we need to engage all of our senses and be aware of them. Imagine you are blind and need to use other senses to communicate. Based on our research and experiments with different groups of people, we created collective mega creativity that presents a simple, effective parallel thinking process to help people be more productive, focused, creative, and mindfully involved. What is the difference between vertical thinking and lateral thinking? Vertical thinking is linear, but creative thinking or lateral thinking is a concept that was first presented by Edvard de Bono, the father of creativity. Lateral thinking is the ability to use your imagination to look at a problem in a fresh way and come up with a new solution. If we want to go from A to B, there are so many ways in this puzzle to solve the problem. You can see the difference in this image that vertical thinking follows the rules and lateral thinking ignores the rules to find the solution. What are these concepts? Creativity leads to ideas. Mega creativity leads to mega ideas. Collective mega creativity leads to collective mega ideas. If we see each idea as a singular color, we can say first there are ideas, then we have mega ideas, and mega ideas looks like a matrix. You create and connect every two ideas to create a new one out of it. Exactly like mixing two colors, let's say yellow and blue, which create a new color, which is green. If we think of ideas like colors, the number of ideas that we can achieve and come up with will be so much higher in mega level. Every person can create a matrix of colors representing ideas in a collective format. It will add other dimensions to the matrix. The creative outcome will become beyond our expectations. That is why collective mega creativity is essential to learn and use it in the challenge we face collectively. In collective mega creativity, connection is the key. Connection of ideas from different people with different backgrounds, it can develop those novel ideas that exist only in a collective level and results from collaboration. For achieving these mega ideas, collaboration will be one of the main keys. So how uh, can collaboration happen? How can we collectively add our expertise and create ideas together? We are all talking about collaboration in work and life. Collaboration become a term that we all use for a successful outcome. Still, we often don't know how to really use and create an effective collaboration where we can creatively solve problems, expand our innovation, new, expand and innovate new ideas without any obstacles. Thomas Hirschhorn, a social practice artist, came with this diagram. He talks about the authorship and the outcome of social practice work in art, which we found how related and practical it is to any various type of work. 
In this theory, when each person engages themselves with 100% of their potential and expertise and take the authorship of the whole outcome, the collaboration will significantly change. The involvement of each collaborator will become 100% instead of small percentage of the outcome. It will create trust, it will decrease the possible tension that might arise during the work process. And of course, it will lead, lead it to have mega ideas as an outcome. Instead of each person have a mindset of contributing 20% or 50%, they have their 100% input, knowledge, and ideas. This will make, this will make us to have 700% of an outcome instead of a sloppy 100%. In the collaboration process, all ideas are essential for creating a mega idea. Mainly, the process is more important than the outcome. Any mega ideas will be led to prototypes. A prototype might become successful, but the failed prototype will lead to a new solution. We also need to consider each creative process is not linear, but more complex, including ups and downs and knots, and very unique in their nature. We created different tools to help this process to be more in the flow and engage all of our five senses. One of the other key elements in collective mega creativity is sensory input. As we know, we understand our world through our five senses. To use a higher capacity of our creative mind, we need to pay attention to the data we receive from our senses. Scientifically, creativity will be fostered in the higher level if we engage mindfully through sight, hearing, smell, touch, and taste all together. Now we are pleased to guide you through the six hats. What is the six hat? Six thinking hats is a simple, effective parallel thinking process that helps people be more productive, focused, creative, and mindfully involved. In this method, participants will learn how to separate thinking into six precise functions and roles. Each thinking role is identified with a colored symbolic thinking hat. By mentally wearing and switching hats, participants can easily focus on redirect thoughts, the conversations, and coming up with new solutions and create a matrix of mega ideas collectively. There are there six are simple steps. There are and six stages. simple steps. Right. and stages for the exploration that can lead you and your group in a great flow. These stages are introductions and group agreements, two, dividing to different groups of six people, three, activating senses through a haiku, four, rolls of six hats and dividing the problem, five, finding the best solution and create an action plan, and six, explore the solution. Introductions and group agreements are always one of the best ways to get into a group activity. Introductions are the first encounter of a group. Even if you already know the group or not, it is the first step to understand how everyone's feeling and doing at that particular moment and window of time. They will understand the group's energy and learn something new and more in depth from each other that they never had a chance to learn. There are various types of questions that can be asked and different prompts that the group can set while in this stage. It is important to pick a question or prompt that is also creative and add to the group's diversity and value. For instance, a question like, where is your name from? What does your name mean? or what your name means to you. These are very identical and intimate questions that can 
give an opportunity to a group member to share not only about themselves, but also a part of their culture and a memory that their name is carrying. So make sure to be creative in this stage. A group agreement is a clear set of guidelines that a group will set for managing discussions, meetings, and sensitive information that might be raised in the group. It will help the group understand the purpose, uh, purpose of this meeting, give equal opportunity for speaking and being involved and be sure that the idea will be heard without any judgments in the group. The group agreements can include having fun, explore and experience, be creative, be open-minded. There is no right or wrong, trust yourself and one another, collaborate, be respectful, and enjoy the journey. For this exploration, you will need six people to play specific roles for problem solving and collective mega creativity. Each group member will choose a color hat from white, red, yellow, green, blue, and black, which later on you will be given roles for each color. You can use actual colored hat scarves, shirts for fun, colored ribbons, or paper, if you are meeting physically. Well, we are in quarantine. What should we do if you are in the Zoom? Thanks to the virtual background. You can use creative colored hat as your background and move forward. This technique is ideal for a group of six people. But if you, uh, if you have a group that is less than six, also use your creativity and invent a new way. For example, one person can have more than one hat and switch hats and roles during the session. Just be as creative as possible as the whole intention is to turn our problems into a fun project and a puzzle to find the best solution. To get into the flow of your roles and activate our senses and the creative section of our mind, you can start with a short activity based on our five senses and feeling. Now that everyone in the group has one color, they will be given various roles and senses to play with. Six colors, five senses and feeling. A person with a white hat is responsible for feelings. A person with a red hat is responsible for taste, yellow, smell, black, touch, green, hearing, and blue, sight. Activating our senses is important as it will bring us to the present. You can activate your senses by simply closing your eyes and feeling each sense or in other creative ways, such as through a haiku. For this part, you will choose a haiku or any type of poetry. Then each group member will express a specific sense based on their colored hat and what they are responsible for. For example, this is a haiku from Brenzai. An old pond, a frog lips in, the sound of water. In this haiku, if you are the white hat person, then you will talk about the feeling of the haiku. What is it first? What, what's the feeling that you are actually um, receiving when you read the haiku? Are you feeling sad, nostalgic, happy, calm, or a combination? Or if you are a red hat person, then you will explain the taste of the haiku. What does it taste like? Do you feel a bitter taste, sweet, sour, or a combination? And so on for other roles and senses. In the end, each group member can share their experience with each other. As part of Bono said, creative thinking needs to call that one. can be practiced and nurtured.
Now, what are the six thinking styles and the six hacks that can be used for creative problem solving? The six directions representing by the six hats challenge the brain during the brainstorm session. In each of these directions, the mind will generally identify and bring into conscious thought certain facts of the views. For example, gut, instinct, judgment, neutral facts, emotions, and so on. None of these tracks is an entirely natural way of thinking but rather how some of us already represent the results of our thinking. This stage needs a minimum of one hour time. Each group member will keep the colored hat they already chose and work on in the first haiku activity. Agree on a time limit for each hat. Times can vary from three to five minutes per hat. Six roles for the six participants in each group are one, the blue hat is used to manage and document the thinking process as a facilitator. It's the control mechanism that ensures the six thinking hat guidelines are observed and summarize the best solution. Two, the white hat calls for information, known or needed, the facts, just the facts. The yellow hat symbolizes brightness and optimism. Under this hat, you explore the positive ideas, values, and benefits. Four, the black hat is a judge. The advocate or why something may not work. Spot the difficulties and dangers where things might go wrong. Probably the most powerful and useful of the hats. Five, the red hat signifies Feelings and intuition. When using this hat, you can express emotions and feelings, share fears, likes, dislikes, loves and hates. And six, the green hat. The green hat focuses on creativity, the possibilities, alternatives, and new ideas, and it's an opportunity to express new concepts and new perceptions. Make sure to stick to your role. You're only responsible for your particular position, like me with a white hat. Even if it does not match your personality, why? Because here we are training other parts of our brain that you might not usually use it. Each person with a, with a hat in a specific color will analyze the problem based on their thinking styles. For example, green as a very creative person. Blue hat as facilitator, asking other hats to share their thoughts and ideas, manage the discussion, and balance each person's um, talking time. Because some people definitely are shy and some people are more talkative. If you have a red hat, you express your feeling about that specific problem and so on. In the end, all the discussion and information, answers and solutions that gathered by the blue hat will be evaluated and discussed in the group to develop their final solution and create the action plan. You can decide on a time frame for your action plan, dividing tasks in the group to test the final solution. In the end, you share your experience with other group members. As a reminder, this is a collaboration process. All ideas are essential for creating a specific mega idea. Any mega idea will be led to a solution. A solution might become successful or it might fail, but the failed solution will be lead you to a new one. We believe that collective mega creativity is more important now because it's bringing people together virtually for ultimate creativity. It's finding a creative solution for a serious problem with new innovative tools by engaging senses and our emotions, and more importantly, having fun while solving problems. It's also unblock the mind to learn and think in a new ways that you didn't know it can exist, and it will spread hope. 
Thank you. Thank you.